So I had an interesting idea. Taking uh, Jam Origins MIDI Guitar 2, which you can take a guitar signal input and it'll actually convert it to MIDI. And not only that, it's polyphonic, so you can do multiple notes at the same time. So if I hit one note, you can see it's hitting. And if I hit another note, and a third note, you can see four notes, and you can do up to six notes, I think. Converting that signal, um, splitting the strings out kind of individually into a three note generator within the Helix. So that the first three strings will operate oscillator one note, the next note is oscillator two note, and the third note is oscillator three. And then the fourth, fifth, and sixth notes will be on the second three note generator. So we can see this in action. If I just hit one note, it's just gonna control the oscillator one. And if I add a second note, you'll see that both of these are active. And if I do a third note, and if I do a fourth note, then it spills into this next one. And fifth note. It doesn't always pick up the sixth notes. There we go. So making this more advanced uh, in Jam Origins, you can actually program your own MIDI machines. Things like an arpeggiator. So when you're setting up your project, uh, you're going to want to make sure that Helix is connected to the MIDI settings. So we have the set to port one. Um, and in FL Studio, I'm going to use insert one. And I'm going to make sure that the Line 6 Helix 7 is coming through. That's the complete dry signal. We're going to want to add our MIDI guitar too. And we're going to go to, to our settings and the output port is going to be on one. Next thing, uh, I created a custom three note generator, but uh, if we're looking at the code, it's not too much going on. I'll put this in the description. This is going to translate our pitch information into something that the Helix can actually use for both the, the note and the octave. And that's essentially it. So here's a diagram of showing how the MIDI configuration is set up with this patch. We have two three note generators, we'll call it A and B. Uh, the first one has these set of configurations for the MIDI CC values. So the notes are on four, five, and six, octaves are on 10, 11, 12, and the levels are set with the CC 16, 17, 18. Similar thing for the second one or B, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Here's a diagram showing the process flow. So we have our guitar connected to the Helix. The Helix is sending out uh, a dry signal on Helix 7 uh, through our DAW and into the Jam Origins MIDI Guitar 2. That's generating the MIDI content and sending over the CC values to the Helix. And then we're outputting it to the speakers.